What is going on YouTube? I want to show you guys today the home charging that Tesla provides with you. So they provide you with the home charger and you put your adapters here. So this is the standard Tesla charger that you get. So this is a 515 adapter which plugs into any wall outlet here. And all you gotta do is plug this into here and then you put this in the car well the problem with this is you get about five mile hour of range of charge so to charge for 50 miles range you're going to charge about 10 hours so i purchased an adapter so this adapter is the 1030 so you see right there it's 1030 adapter from tesla plugs right in there so i'm going to show you guys the difference so this charges approximately 10 excuse me 19 to 20 uh, miles per hour so a lot more efficient and this actually just plugs into the dryer outlet right in there so stick around and show you how that works all right so now we're going to charge this bad boy this is the Model Y Performance dual motor. And to open the charge port, you just gotta give a little tap here. It opens right in for you. Now you'll see, I already have the adapter in here, 1030. You're gonna just put it right in the dryer outlet, like so. See it lines up Tesla. They're just gonna plug this in here. So you'll see the connector again. This comes with the car. Just stick it in there. When it lights blue up like that, you see it is charging. Now if we come in here, we will see. The charging. So it shows 118 miles currently. And then you'll see up here how many hours are remaining. So about eight hours remaining. It's charging about 14 miles an hour. So that's gonna vary. Um, you know, I think it charges up to 19 miles an hour. Uh, the charge limit, I have 90%. So Tesla recommends that you charge 90% for daily use if you're gonna do in a trip, then they say to charge 100% uh, percent of the battery capacity range, right? So this is 274. The interesting thing though, when I first got the car, it uh, showed you that the at 70%, it was 270. So it seems that I've gained a bit of range. So I recently did a software update. I'm not sure if that's why, but um, you'll see that sometimes it does, does increase. Um, I have a friend of mine who has a long range model three in his car actually has a um, increase in range as well. So I think he gained like five, 10 uh, percent increase. So uh, the interesting thing here is you can, you know, while you're charging again, this is from home. So if you're charging at home, it's not an issue. Just go inside and wait. But if let's say you're at a supercharger station, and you want some entertainment, you want the time to go by, you could just come on here and go to all these options. You have Spotify, you have theater, you click on theater, you click YouTube. And if you want to watch a video, you can to pass the time, right? You have all these other interesting things. You have Disney Plus, you have Hulu, you have Netflix, Twitch, Tesla tutorials. That'll kind of just give you some, you know, interesting how to's regarding the car uh, it's taking a little bit to load but maybe I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi here so let's go back to the charging so seven hours 55 minutes remaining so again it's gonna take a lot longer now if you did do just the, the wall outlet that's probably gonna be closer to 24 hours so again this is you know the slower option if you do it at a supercharger you're gonna be about 20 to 30 minutes now i'm going to show you guys what happens when you close the door right so the reason that this pops up 
is because the Tesla key is linked to my car. So it's as if I'm ready to drive the vehicle. Now, when I close the door, I want to show you guys, it's going to show the charging from a different uh, standpoint. Display on the screen. All right, let's open the door. That's the exact car that I have. And you see it's charging. We're at 17 miles an hour. So you see that that's increasing there. 240 volts, the charge. But look what happens when I close the door, all right? So I close the door. Now you'll see it's charging about 20 miles an hour right there. So time remaining, seven hours. Obviously I'm not gonna do seven hours, but I just wanna kinda of do it at display for you guys, give you an idea of how it works. And uh, you know, stay tuned. Hope you guys like it. And uh, you have to watch it though. So let me actually give you a quick tour of the car while we're here. So this again is the performance variant. So you'll see the 21 inch tires with the Brembo brakes. So these are 275, 35, 21. So very small profile. So you see it's charging. It's very dirty. The performance also comes with the carbon fiber spoiler. Then it comes with the dual motor and you know it's a performance because the performance is going to have the red line on the bottom. If you just see dual motor, then you know it's not a performance. So car is pretty awesome. Had it for about a week and a half. And this is how you open the door. As you see, we have the white interior. And as you see, it's a little stained. So if you wear certain jeans, this seems to get a little stained, but it's, uh, it's vegan le leather, so it's not real, but you just have to do a quick spray and this will come right off, just wipe it down. Here's one of the cameras. I think it has eight cameras total. These are the front rims, Brembo brakes as well, but they're red and it's a Tesla on it. So these are Michelin Pilot Sport. I'm just trying to get the dimensions for you guys right there. 255, 35, 21s. There are the headlights there. 